welcome uh, to Saturday Mornings Outdoors. My name is Paul Kay. I'm up in beautiful Epping, New Hampshire. And this week we're at New England Dragway, the coolest place on the planet. And this is part two. Last week we did uh, test and tune a lot of pro stuff that uh, give you a taste of what quarter mile drag racing looks like. And this week, this is uh, called street night anything can race here any 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 type of street machines can race I don't think that the, I don't think that they're allowed to be professionals or anything like that or I don't know we're gonna find out but I uh, hope you like this video if you like like and subscribe my name is Paul Gay and here so I got the permission from the pit boss that I can photograph and uh, just for you guys so you can see what it's like up close it's test and tune right now it's not actual racing these are just all levels of drivers, pros and uh, uh, not pros, and guys that just want to see what their machines can do, and they rent this track on their own, and uh, they uh, come up here and do this. Five o'clock tonight, probably in an hour or so, this is going to open up, and this will be open to everybody, and uh, it's uh, um, for anybody to race on, so we're going to see. So I'd like to just go over the rules quickly with you of how this is uh, goes down. If you haven't watched the last video, I explained it extensively, but uh, cars will come in uh, through this area and do their burnouts and bleeds. The reason why they do burnouts is because they want to heat up their tires and get good grip on the track, good friction on the track so they can really go fast. That right here, these are called the Christmas trees. These are lights and they're going to regulate when the cars can go and how to make it even is that both cars will pull up on each lane barely barely touching there's a beam there and once they both break the beam you can't go past the beam or you're disqualified that lines them up evenly and they're set to go and then it'll go down yellow 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 green and the the trick is to try to step on the gas as fast as you can just a half a second after it goes green if you punch it before it goes green then you're disqualified and you automatically lose and you'll hear these guys revving their engines just as the lights get coming down they call that a whole shot what that's doing is increasing the revolutions in the engine so they can really take off fast down the track now on both sides of the track I'll get down there and we'll have views of that, but whoever wins the race, there, those signs, there's two electrical, electrical signs on each side. The top will give the time, and the bottom will give the speed on each side, and whoever wins, that sign will go off first. And that's it. So it's uh, relatively simple once you get the rules down, and there's a lot to it. You have to get traction. You can't just punch it and go forward. You have to shift gears on time. You have to know the power of your machine and you have to have all the applicable NHRA safety equipment pertaining to the class of your vehicle, if you get that. The more powerful cars, the more restrictive they are in the safety equipment. So you have to have uh, the correct safety equipment in, in whatever class you're at. This is street night so they're, pr they're all gonna most uh, probably just gonna be probably just gonna be uh, street rods and, uh, that's pretty much it, it in a nutshell so you saw it from the burnout area and from the starting line now I'm gonna show you what they look like flying at 180 miles an hour at the uh, uh, end of the uh, game so also now these are Whoever wins the race, theirs will go on first. They both post, the top is the time, and the bottom is the uh, speed. And uh, also there's other like reaction time, and then they get a slip at the end. So like they'll race through here, they come and they turn around, and then the, the track gives them a slip. And on the slip it has all the details of his run, what he did at like, uh, an eighth of a mile at I think it's like a, um, a sixteenth of a mile his reaction time at the lights you know how long it took him before the light turned green to make it you know you know 
if he did a fair start. And uh, it's not that complicated, but once you get the rules down, it's really cool. You can see, you can understand what's going on here. It's not just simply two guys racing forward. There's a lot involved with it. Your reaction time at the light, you burn out how well your car's running and the traction and so forth and everything about it. It's just too cool. You know, it's just cool stuff. So we're at the finish line. We're gonna get a better view of the finish. You'll be able to see the times better. Now, you gotta bear in mind again, these are not professionals. You know, these are the, the class that they're in. These are street rods so or street cars, so they're not going to be uh, down in the eights and the sixes like we had at the Test and Tune last week. But uh, beautiful sun going down in uh, Epping, New Hampshire on this wonderful spring day, and it's a cool, cool way to spend a weekend night at uh, New England Dragway. Why don't you all come on down? So when you come up here as a spectator, there's different levels that you can get. You can just sit in these stands or, well, it differs when there's NHRA full on the big, big events where you see the world famous racers come in with their world famous race cars. But on a night like tonight, there's, you can just sit in the stands here or you can get sneaky beer this kind of deal. And it's called a pit beer, basically saying, you remember the crew, you can get right up in there to get great pictures. So here we come with our first racer, it looks like. You can see the pit crew working on the rails right there. They're, uh, I believe there was a chick driving one of them, believe it or not. Five seconds, 122. It's because they're so light. It's like the rails. They're faster than the rails, but they're so light is what it is. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> oh, he almost lost it. He almost blew that thing up, dude. Wow. Under 10 seconds, 136 miles an hour. I don't know why he let off, but uh, 121 miles an hour, five seconds. That was weird. I don't know why he let off. Ate him up, tens and thirteens. See, that, that's because there's such a wide margin. Is because they're they're just guys. These are there's nothing too much special about these cars. They are fast, but they're it's street night. That's what. Wow. This guy just lost control. I have no clue what was up with that. <laughs> and here come the cars. Look at this. All right, so here comes the lineup. Oh my God. It's just gonna be two by two now. Two by two, two at a time. This is racing right here. Put my money on the truck.
Good on the back. Pro NHRA guys get in here and their rails, you know, they're well over 200, 230, 240 up in there. Those jet cars go even faster than that. And it's just <laughs> pure. Cars, those rails are the fastest things out there now, as far as I know. I mean, unless you're talking about an F-15. This guy's a pro here. Nothing's gonna race against him. That's in his class. taste of what it's like to be up at Epping, New Hampshire, New England Dragway. Man, I hope you had as much fun. There's nothing. When you're here, you feel the power of these machines in you. They're loud and they're fast. You can appreciate how fast they go. And it's just really something special. It's a lot of fun. I hope maybe I inspired you guys to get on out here. This is a fun day. If you want something to do with Saturday mornings outdoors, Come on down to Epping, New Hampshire, New England Dragway. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just love this place, and oh, I forgot how much fun it was. So I hope you enjoy this edition of Saturday Morning Outdoors. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week, and uh, we'll let you know. God, I love this place. <laughs>